Have you ever had sleepless nights thinking of your favorite tank, longing for the day you could enjoy commanding it into battle with friends for free? Look no further, folks, because World of Tanks is a solution to your tank problem. All you have to do is register for free. That's right, free account to get started on your battle plan to crush the competition and access to a massive arsenal with a tank perfect for every occasion. Nice. For the folks that haven't had the pleasure of enjoying the high octane free to play action that World of Tanks offers and are signing up for the first time, scroll down to the top of the video description and click on the link and be sure to use the code TANKTASTIC. New players get 7 premium days, 500 gold, and a beautiful premium tier 3 Soviet T-127 tank. Now that's a deal! Don't miss out now, go on and get that deal before it's gone. Again, if you're registering for the first time, just click the link at the top of the description, use the code TANKTASTIC, get your 7 premium free days, 500 gold, and that new tier 3 Soviet T-127 tank! The plan is to grab some food, then we're gonna drive down to Drive Tanks. I didn't know this, I just learned this yesterday. The Drive Tanks place is on an 18,000 acre ranch. How crazy is that? You can't even get cell phone service out there. I won't be able to post on the gram for like two days. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeehaw. We grabbed some food. John got the hottest wings there. Oh my gosh. And you, they weren't even as they hot. They weren't even that hot. We're on the way to Drive Tanks right now. It's about a two hour drive away. I can't believe how big this place is. Matt and them were telling me that it's got like its own little airstrip and it's self-sufficient. Like the dude who owns it can just live out there indefinitely. I know where I'm going during the zombie apocalypse or any apocalypse. There's probably going to be one soon considering how 2020 has been so far. I believed I would return to my well, platoon and serve. How cool is that? They got a little cabin set up there and like a little lake. I think that's where we're gonna be staying in one of those cabins. What in the hell is that? Is that a, Hi, is that an elk? Is that a baby elk? Happy is, is that a reindeer? Oh, you can go behind it and get whatever you want. Really? There's no bartender. We're the bartenders. Yes. We made it. We're here at Drive Tanks, also known as Ox Ranch or Ox Safari. And they have every dead animal imaginable here. And they also have we stock bar that we can just get what we want from. All right, the toilets here at Drive Tanks totally have a video game. And wherever you aim your pee, that's where the tank aims. I'm not going to show you doing that because I want this channel to be monetized. John, you ever seen a man die? <laughs> <laughs> a Pachenko. Oh my! That's way bigger than the flamethrower I shot. <laughs> They put us in some cabins last night. I'm still not completely woke up yet. Hey, John, how are you? Good morning. This is Jerry Mikulex, oh, YouTube man. guy over here. I don't oh, think y'all have met him yet. But look at this, man. They got a fully stocked pond, lake-ish, creek maybe. I don't know. But there's a bunch of fish in it, and that's cool. And we just met this old girl. And then Brandon met a horror kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Oh, What'd you find, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Is that, what, is that the noise the turtles make? Yeah. Oh, there's a couple of them. What's up, tortoises? Yeah, I said that. How old do you think they are, John? Some of them are probably old, some of them are probably young. Yeah, I bet they're at least 40 years old. What? Finally made it to the tank portion. Hey, there's a cabin up on that on the hill right there. They're building it for, like, fancy people. Yeah. Like, you have to spend a lot to get there, I think. Huh. That's where I want to go. You got P90 there, buddy? Matt said these are all full auto. Yes. And they have everything. <laughs> yes. What is this ugly thing? An FG-42 paratrooper rifle. Huh. I'm gonna be mad that you said that. Yes, yeah, so, dude, <laughs> people are mad no matter what. <laughs> oh, they got a, a stim gun. That's so cool, man. Here, stand beside the tank. I just wanna show everyone how big it is. Look at that, <laughs> holy crap. This is really cool, man. They have like a, uh, they got a whole museum in here. Oh, dude, they got a portrait of me. Look, dude. <laughs> Where'd they get a portrait of me from? What's this called? The lounge? Something lounge? It's called Patton's Lounge. Patton's Lounge? Yeah. It's Patton's Lounge. Guess whose sword that is. And we've actually... Patton's sword. Is this Patton's parachute? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, dude, look. <laughs> Matt found Patton's parachute. <laughs> you know what? It's probably Patton's couch right there. Is this Patton's machine gun? Dude. The couch? It's Patton's fan. Patton's TV. <laughs> oh, there's... There's Patton's C4581105 dummy. Patton's leg lamp right there. We have Patton's palm tree, dude. Yeah, so that's the coolest little beer thing I've ever seen. What you doing, bud? Y'all. Hanging out. 
I've never actually like been close to a tank very much before. Check this out. This is just like super, super thick rubber. And that's what's on the treads. I never realized that. Super cool stuff. I look at this and I think of the movie Fury. Think of how terrifying it was to fight in one of these things. I mean in a tank battle, not against not against infantry. That'd be pretty fun. <laughs> Let's be honest. Some Nazi got destroyed in that one, in that one. I think the coolest thing I've seen here so far though is a, a bullet riddled SS uniform. How cool is that? I definitely want to shoot this guy again. I shot one a long time ago and it does that. Doom, 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 doom. Dude, they got a BAR. I want to shoot that guy too. I want to shoot all these guys. What's going on there, Jerry? Jerry Mikulik? <laughs> this is a stand-in for Jerry just right here. Fast, you guys. Just tell me you're shooting fast. You shoot. <laughs> we here. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Donut. How are you, buddy? I'm doing good, man. How are you? Good, man. Good. That's a tank? Yeah. That's so cool. Kentucky Ballistics Demolition Ranch up there. I think they're taking the first ride. <laughs> hey, look. There's more tanks out here. Can't that one go like, uh, that one goes like 50 miles an hour, doesn't it? Woo! Woo! <laughs> John is down there somewhere. He's like right there. Look, there's a minigun on top of this guy. That is a functional minigun. This is a functional Ma Deuce. Johnny got a little dusty there, boss. <laughs> what are you? Oh my God. I think, I think it's, uh, it's a little dusty out here, huh? It is. It's in my teeth. <laughs> Oh no. I know there's like grit. I can feel it. Soviet D20. Holy crap. Is that what it is? Tw yep. D20? D20. Oh, oh, I see it now. Yeah. They don't move the gun out, they move the building out. Oh. That's, <laughs> that's, that's funny. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> that was a hundred rounds right there. That's what we're gonna shoot out of there. One. <laughs> you keep this? Yep. Awesome. Thanks, yes. Scott. No problem. <laughs> so if I dropped it on the ground, would it explode? Nah, it's already. No. That's that's just like the bullet. They're setting up the 152 millimeter artillery cannon thingy right now for Scott to shoot. So we're all just kind of hanging out. I really want to stay in that place right there. I was walking around and found this guy over here. What are you? Can you imagine being in one of these for four years of combat? Huh. Is that right? Three, two, one. <laughs> it's on fire. <laughs> oh, God. I'm glad it came over here. Right? <laughs> Dude. Next time someone says, what's the biggest gun you've ever shot? That one. Don't, uh, 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 what if it bites you? I don't know if tortoises bite. Yeah. Hey man, what was your favorite part of the day? Everything. Everything. I'm gonna touch his head. Don't, John. Hey, what up, man? He's coming over to say hello. John said there's bats up here. Oh. Oh yeah, there's like four of them up there. Look at all the bats. Hey John, how you doing? Hi. Why are you wearing gloves? I really don't know why I just scanned them. We are leaving the lodge right now. See the lodge? This big guy? That's where all those animal heads were last night in the full bar. We're going to head out right now though and we're going to explore and go find the giraffes and meet some animals and feed them bananas and stuff like that. That's we're gorgeous. in one, this really cool modified Jeep and John and I are sitting up top. We got Brandon Herrera, Herrera. In, in there somewhere. Ooh. This is Buttercup. She's the nice one. And this is Buttercup's baby over here. There's a big chicken. Where'd they come from? John, 
Watch out for, hey John, come here, come here. John, come here, come to me, come here. Watch out for the one with horns. What is, what is he, what are these guys? This is a red lechway. A what? Red lechway. Oh cool. How much does it cost to shoot one of these? $6,500. Oh man. That's a steal. That's a steal. Oh, there's a big house right there. There's the owner's house right there. That's uh, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. What's up, buddy? Holy crap, that's so cool. The story they told us is that they think it was like two of them hunting. Did they say what it was? They did. I can't remember, brother. Dude, it's, it's got like one, some, some giant some name. Some ancestor to the T-Rex. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Look at that. It's some ancestor to the T-Rex. Is what they said. Holy crap, man. Yep, dinosaur oh, people. That's sick. It's worth more than gold. Those are tracks right there, I think. There's its right foot, and there's its left foot right there. That's a big bitch. Dude, Don, lay down in between those, bud. Its stance was as big as a John. was approximately 1.2 John <laughs> wide. <laughs> Look at that. That rock looked like a skull. That was really weird. No, there's a cave right here. We're going to go explore this cave first. Has anyone ever been to these caves? Uh, yeah, that's why there's a ladder there. <laughs> Climbed up this ladder. Now let's go explore a cave. And we can't see. <laughs> you want to see some cave drawings? Sure. Maybe see a horse or an elephant, because I'm seeing an elephant. Come here. Right here. So get up there. Check it out right there. You see oh! that? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> We're about 100 feet in, and it just keeps going and going. John took the top. I think he's small enough to. We're gonna have to take the bottom. Nature's neat. Nature's metal. <laughs> Nature's metal as hell. I turn off my flashlight. We, we, we reached right. the end. Well, we could keep going that way. John could fit that way, but we're gonna head back. Dude, that was like a good what, 200, 300 feet? Hard enough to make me uncomfortable. Yeah, right. Because uh, what if this all collapsed right now? You know, I had to have Sam stop right here real quick because this rock we we're passing through in the beginning, and it legit looks like a human skull from here. <laughs> you good? This is one of their newer cabins they're building that people can come stay at, but look at this. Look at the view. Those are two baby rhinos right there. Sometimes you can just buy baby rhinos. Who knew? Yeah, I can't see them, bud. Yeah, they're directly across from the... <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. This is John's first time wearing nods. And is then it? there's more in this direction. And here, right now, there. so look, there's... And, there, and then there's just that white one. Hold on. You can turn the flashlight on, and it's an IR flashlight. Can you see better now? <laughs> that's Where, super cool, man. I can sneak up on a deer, actually. Now that you can I sneak up on a lot of things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're all hanging out, and suddenly there's a kangaroo chilling on the front porch. Hey, bud. We're just hanging out. Kangaroo on the front porch, no big deal. Scarlet, you whore. I really want to touch it. Feel the tail. Seriously, do it. They can support the entire weight of their body. I know, I've seen them rear back and just kick. Hey, big man. Hey, big man. I got some food for you. Hey, good boy. 